in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. And I lead the earth to worship you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I leave the earth to worship you. I leave the earth to worship you. Hallelujah. Three things should happen to your life as a sign that you are growing. If you come to this place again and again and these three things do not happen in your life we are wasting your time please leave if you come here again and again and again and these three things do not happen in your life I can assure you do something better with your time number one transformation if the word of God is not changing you I'm not just talking about born again if the word of God is not changing you if the word of God is not changing your character your attitude your mindset hallelujah if you've been coming here for a while and you still hold on to the ideologies that you've had if there is nothing that is compelling you to change to drop those old ideologies be it cultural be it religious be it demonic be it worldly be it carnal if there is no force that compels you to lay down the ideology that you've had then you are not growing hallelujah when a man truly has an encounter with God, one of the things that must happen is transformation. 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 A change of mindset. A change of values. A change of ideology. A change of perception. Something must happen to your mentality. Listen. The word of God is a programming. The word of God is a programming. I told us last week, I went somewhere for a, a crusade and they were asking me, they said, what is the advice to Nigerian youth? I said, I don't have any advice for the Nigerian youth. The Nigerian youth, they don't need an advice. They need a programming, a change. Are you getting my point now? A change. Let me have someone. Aaron, good to see you hallelujah watch this if this is the direction aaron is headed all right if he's following this direction i hope you know that he's taking this step based on a mindset is that true based on an ideology based on a conviction whether academic whether cultural whether religious it doesn't matter 
now what the word of god does is that when you collide with god through his word there must be a force from the word greater than the force that was initially driving you and that force changes your state this is what we call repentance to repent is not just to confess your sin to repent is to lay down the ideology that take you into that realm and bring you into a new philosophy so that we can look at you and see that your thinking pattern has changed let me tell you if your thought life does not change if your mindset does not change you can limit god in your life hallelujah the bible says they limited god in the wilderness as mighty as god is a man's mentality can limit god for a long time god wanted to bless abraham but the mindset of the traditional worship the mindset of the culture he was coming from limited god god kept beckoning on him i want to make you a father of nations i want to make you great but abraham's mind could not cooperate with that which the spirit wanted to do and one day the lord said abraham come out of your house I, I i need to do something to your mind to align with my purposes for your life abraham come out he said now look at the stars let me give you something to play around with and when he tried counting the stars he said can you count them he said no he said so shall thy seed be finally abraham believed god and it was counted unto him for righteousness hallelujah the power of god is not short to change and bring miracles and breakthroughs it's just that we have been taught and 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 it's my job in the body of christ to always address imbalances and error on one side we've been taught that everything depends on god you have no role to play you just be born again and there is a smooth ride common sense teaches you that it does not make sense are you following me now then on the other hand we have men who are struggling just using concepts alone and human philosophy forgetting that there must be a god factor in the equation of your life both extremes are very very wrong all through scripture from genesis to revelation there has always been a partnership between god through his spirit and a willing vessel that can pay the price and allow his mindset to subscribe to the higher values of heaven hallelujah the difference between brother a and brother b is not the color of their skin is their degree of alignment to the holy spirit how much they have submitted their mindset to take up the higher mindset of the values listen the bible says my thoughts are higher than your thoughts is that true and and that word the, the the greek word word there word of god is logos it means the thoughts of god so the word of god gives you his ideology when you read my books you study my persuasions you study my convictions is that true so if you stay long enough with my books and you open up yourself to the influence of my thought patterns you will begin to think like me even if you've never met me we will talk as though we've been together this is the ministry of the word it's not just to make us speak christian language no the word of god is supposed to transcend it produces a force that force compels your mind to change to align to spiritual things so that when god wants to pass through your life your ideologies will not resist him hallelujah bless you Aaron. everybody say transformation are you being transformed it's not enough to come to church and sit down and keep writing is the word of god changing you you can limit the power of the word of god some of you can choose to walk out of this place wow nice sermon so this is how koinonia is like wonderful i'm impressed i'm blessed that can be your the the, the things that you are carrying back home and someone else can sit down and say lord 
i'm aware that my mindset is the reason why i am where i am my mindset has been limiting your work in my life you want to bless me but there's something in my life that resists you you want to lift me you want to make me great but there's something and i am aware so i come to man he needs to step into your soul realm and take complete charge of your mind your mindset so that your ideologies are a derivative of the word of god not culture there are aspects of culture that are good there are aspects of culture that are devilish devilish they were crafted out by wicked men sponsored by spirits that are not under the influence of the spirit of god and many of us have grown up with these ideologies and although you've gone to school although you are working although you are married that mindset is stopping god from doing certain things in your life many of us have gotten mindsets by from our past you have a mindset concerning fatherhood you have a mindset concerning marriage you have a mindset concerning money concerning prosperity concerning poverty concerning god concerning the holy spirit these are all mindsets that have been given unto us by a system that does not honor god so when we come into his presence we do not come just to say lord add to what i have sometimes you need to say lord open me up like a surgery right and pick out everything that does not align with your divine pattern everybody say transformation listen if the word of god is truly changing you then regardless of the fact that aaron is from kaduna state and ken is from the east you should have similarities in mindset because you have you have laid down your personal culture to pick up the excellence of the culture of a higher kingdom hallelujah but the issue is that many of us love seeing the power of god we love seeing the grace of god we love seeing people fall under the anointing and miracles happen and there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that is the word of god changing you the the decisions you made last year if you still make those decisions today in spite of the power of god's word then that's what they call frustrating the grace of god hallelujah the bible says the days of our ignorance god overlooks right so if you do not know god can create a system by his mercy to help you but where the word of the lord comes it comes to build you it comes to take you out of your current position hallelujah say i allow the word of god to change me say it i allow the word of god to change me the worst evil you can do to yourself is to hold on to your mindset hold on to what you had that made you such a failure it was the failure that brought you to the presence of god and now god is saying lay down this thing pick up another culture that can take you your ministry is grounded because of a mindset that is keeping you lay down that mindset and pick up another your marriage is not working because there is a mindset that is keeping you your relationship is not working because there is a mindset men run away from you because there is a mindset women run away because there is a mindset the power of god is far favor is far from your life because there is an ideology that stands as an antichrist but when you come to god's presence it tells you lay down this mindset lay down this mindset that's your own responsibility to say lord all my life i've been taught that you must be a hustler to make it hit it left right and center i saw my father hustling i saw my mother hustling i saw my elder ones hustling and god says uh -uh, the kingdom of god is not haphazard come and let me teach you how the economic system of the kingdom works and you're like lord is there even a system and he says yes there is you can walk circumspectly 
Hallelujah. All your life, you've always known that if a lady wants to marry, she'll go to a herbalist with the picture of the person he wants to marry. And one goat. That's all. You've seen people around you dragging goats to herbalists to chain a brother and force him to get married. That's how you know it to be done. Now you are ready to get married. And they say, oh yeah, where is your own goat? And God is saying, uh-uh, uh-uh. He says, seek out of the book and read. None shall want her mate. So a new ideology starts coming. And I'm telling you, if you are changing, it will create blessings and create persecutions at the same time. Because you live in an environment with people who have refused to change. So your change begins to frustrate them. If they are not fighting you, you are not changing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? something must change about your life everyone is used to bribing if you want job give this person through the back door fifty thousand, and they tell you look we're all christians in fact i'm a pastor as you see me like this we all did it and the moment you want to do that a scripture rises up in you something changes is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am and a scripture wells up in you what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness and what communion has light got to do with darkness and you turn and tell them i'm going to cry but my god will give me this job i will not bribe anybody no bribery and they say look at how stupid you are talking nigeria this thing has been there he said uh -uh, i may be a nigerian but i function from another realm there is a kingdom that sponsors my life and i'm an ambassador and i can call on the embassy i represent it may take a while i may look stupid but god is able to make it happen the moment you speak you mount pressure on god because he's the one you are representing and for the sake of his reputation you cause him to step down but many of us are ashamed at such points you say i went to school how can i start talking about embassy heaven i please let's let's be reasonable what is fifty thousand? hallelujah Before now, your ideology has been the quickest way to be rich is pin down one rich man. Just find a rich, even if he's not born again, you will change him. Pin him down, force him to marry you. That's how they've been taught. And there are many people here as you're sitting down. Some is your parents. They've indirectly warned you. They say, have we not suffered in this life? They say, yes, we have suffered. Say, do you want us to continue like this? They say, no, sir. Say, Tor, complete the puzzle by yourself what they are telling you indirectly is that no matter how born again this brother is once he has not arrived the promises are not there pack your load and go and some of you that's how you are looking and god is sending a very godly brother you are seeing him pray here he's sweating in your presence he's hearing the word of god that can change but because he has not gotten to canaan while you are sitting down kicking away men you will see a quick work that god will do in him all of a sudden saul who was a slave or a, 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 a somebody else will come in power and glory and you will now look and say ah Oh God, why didn't you show me a vision that this guy would change so fast? Say mindsets. Say it. Some of you are already angry. It's too early. I've not started preaching. It's too early this night. Could it be that there is a mindset that is frustrating you there are many pastors who are suffering and struggling in ministry because their mindsets about ministry will never change i said it last week they are looking for lifting quickly they want everybody to call them a pastor you call them aaron they say aaron you didn't add pastor <laughs> that's a mindset because you think that is the title that gives the dignity He said if you call yourself the children of abraham do the works of abraham prove that you are the children of abraham indeed 
you don't move around saying i'm an apostle i'm a prophet i'm a teacher he said let her walks speak for her at the gates who is god speaking to tonight your mindset is limiting him your mindset is limiting god your mindset is limiting god every brother that comes to marry you something happens and he leaves we have prayed for you we knew the day you were delivered so we are sure you are delivered but things have not changed that means there is a mindset problem listen it's not everything that is demons you must learn to take responsibility many of us receive solace in the fact that demons when you hear them say it's not your fault you say yes i've always known it's your fault this night you must take responsibility i've always known from my father's house they want to kill me but you were delivered everybody saw that god changed you why have things not changed because your mindset is a bigger demon an antichrist that is standing between canaan and egypt hallelujah there are christians who still cheat in the exam hall they say forget it i saw a pastor doing it with my own eyes ah i even know him if i mention his name you i saw him so what hallelujah what about living all kinds of immoral life in the world the primary purpose of relationship is for immorality it's not even for marriage it's just a an official way of looking for a partner to be sleeping around with so when a guy thinks he doesn't have enough courage to look around for ladies he goes to find somebody and say okay we're in a relationship they don't even know where they are going hallelujah and there are believers who love god some of you are here you are looking at me you see i'm not condemning you but i'm saying that 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 god must come face to face with the world and when it comes one must bow you cannot embrace these things and say let's go together it can go we can walk it no you cannot walk it light and darkness cannot stay in the same place don't say it does not matter let me tell you the truth if you want to see the authentic glory of god in your life no it matters and i always say this because many of us here are young people don't let anybody fool you and say everybody's doing it no sir there are people who have tapped into a higher law the bible says who shall ascend to the hill of the lord until you climb that hill it does not look like it's possible are you getting my point i counsel people i talk to people and there are people who come and say i love god but kai women hey I, I can't see women i don't ah, is, is it really true that there are people who are keeping themselves it's not by determination hallelujah if it's by determination maybe i would have had children that that would do children's service for koinonia but there is a grace that takes you so although you are human people say i beg jare you are flesh and blood no but there is a spirit that lives inside you the bible says know ye not that your body listen choose to believe this this night don't let it sound childish to you choose to believe if it was not possible god would be a wicked person for putting that as a principle hallelujah transformation there are some of us who can kill for money that's your own mindset you overcame ladies from bed you don't even have a problem with ladies because you you want to make it even if a lady stands naked in your front once there's no money on her you are living you are not the devil can the devil has been defeated when it comes to that one but money ha, ha, ha. you can be dying if they wave money you come back to life there are people like that they love money they can just put money on their table and just be looking at it like this they are not using it it's, it's, doing, it's like a drug they are taking your worst time in church is when they say giving of all sorts even if they don't mention you the fact that somebody else is going to drop money you take it personal 
you are not giving but just seeing that money is leaving somebody is it, it, paining you something is moving in your body advise this guy to take it back say spirit say dangerous spirit hallelujah there are many of us who have certain mindsets of laziness laziness hallelujah a man will sleep till one o'clock in the afternoon you are a man when do you want to marry next year till one o'clock you are still sleeping and you will see one of our sisters who has been trusting god preparing herself like a bride for a very nice person you just believe that because we say hug one another in koinonia it gives you a license to just get up carelessly and just go and meet a sister and say shabby they said let's get to know one another no are you preparing for that future i'm challenging you tonight say transformation what mindset have you refused to drop down romans chapter 12 Can you imagine that I've not even touched my message? Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12. Say the word of the Lord is changing me. Say it is changing me. It's building me. Romans chapter 12. Okay. Let's just turn there. I beseech you therefore brethren by the message of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye what be ye how do you get transformed by the renewing of your mind you get transformed when you take your mind to the theater of the spirit and a surgery is performed the spirit of god himself and the surgical knife is the word of god that is able to cut across the bones and the marrows and it opens you up and begins to edit your life and when it is done you come back a brand new person hallelujah there are many of us those around you who are unbelievers there's no pressure that your life is bringing to them in fact they are more they are comfortable a guy can i'm not talking of condemnation and just pointing fingers at people and say you are going to hell no but that there is an illumination that your transformation can bring to anybody that is not serious with god that if somebody's prayer life is dying he doesn't even need to tell you all he needs to say is can i come and spend weekend in your house or in your room and they are so sure that at the end of three days something will change in their lives hallelujah there are some channels if you are walking in sin you will never want to turn to those channels perpetually 24 hours you will hear a message almost immediately within a space of five minutes that will judge you dove tv redeemed rtm you know that once you are doing something wrong you want to look for another channel that can accommodate what you are doing when you turn to those ones you hear papa adebo just give five minutes something is already flogging the nonsense in you can your life be like that that people are gossiping and and talking stories about others and as soon as you step in everybody just keeps quiet because a true ambassador stepped in one who will not compromise not that when you step in say hey come add add to this discussion what what were you even saying that day no hallelujah that in your office when they are mentioning men and women of integrity 
your name must be mentioned and they know that no if you want to throw this person try it another way bribery will not work even if it means him being demoted just forget it there is no issue of having a meeting with him it will not happen come on now listen if this is not happening in this place then we are wasting our time i don't care how many people fall on the ground roll on the ground even if you float in the air if it does not translate to transformation in your life then we are lying somewhere hallelujah so is your mindset changing ask your neighbor says your mindset changing what did he tell you ask him who can verify that you are changing you can't call somebody that you bought something for in the afternoon to verify whether you are changing or not the answer will certainly be yes Your enemy is the only person with the right to testify whether you truly fear God or not. It was Satan that came to testify about Job. Is that true? Satan himself, he said, ah, no, come on now, I've seen a man. Job, Satan, the father of all liars, a man's integrity compels Satan to tell the truth. He said, I know, I'm a liar. I can twist things but this one there's nothing i can say against this man may that be your testimony that somebody can look at you and say i know i hate ken let me tell you i hate him but when you are talking about a man who is a christian indeed i'm an i i'm an unbeliever as you see me i don't fear god i let me go to hell but i can tell you this person have you seen people like that they don't respect God they look at you and say see see cigarette in my pocket but I can point to you who are the real men of God and you even be talking it was in Antioch when unbelievers called this set of people Christians those who were behaving like Christ not religiously something had happened to them see if your mindset does not change and you are trying to fake it it will frustrate you are you getting what i'm saying one day you will be tired if you don't have a revelation of giving and you are giving 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 one day when there's nobody you say kai i'm tired honestly thank god this my wicked roommate is not going to follow me for koinonia today i'm tired that's how you can see many people serve in the body of christ immediately they leave to another geographical location within two or three months they've changed in a way you'll be like uh-uh this brother used to lead prayers what suddenly happened they really did not get it i'm telling you there is a way you get it it becomes like a cancer in you no matter how much you fall you can't go too far the, the, the fraternity is too much it's like a cult when you see people claim to love god and two months away from an environment of god's presence they just change they really did not get it you can be among believers i hope you know doing what everybody is doing but everybody knows the foundation and the root where he's standing and the bible says let he that stands take heed lest he falls so number one transformation number two three things that must happen in your life you're ready number two is that your life must bear fruits it must produce results write it fruits results the fruit in a tree is a sign that that tree has been well nourished and that it is alive and growing jesus caused a fig tree not because he did not see green leaves he caused the fig tree because it was taking up nutrients from the earth but it was not producing fruits your life must prove 
that God is at work in you not just by transformation transformation is good we talk about character and conformity but there must be results in your life everyone say results Bishop Oyedeko said the end of every argument is proof you don't argue with proof are you getting my point now when John the Baptist sent that they should go and ask Jesus are you the Messiah or should we expect another Jesus did not even answer he just turned started healing the sick casting out devils he said go and tell John what you have seen is this not the evidence that was given to him in the wilderness that the Messiah would do now see me doing it why are you asking again hallelujah when you are a Christian and you are excellent in your job they give you a task to do you do it with with a dimension of intelligence that is not known to those people there is a proof there are you hearing what i'm saying when you keep loving god and you get to a point look let me tell you if you serve god with time everything around your life should change i'm not one of those people who believes that you should just sit down of course in the process there are lots of things to contend against but with time there must be fruit that sign upon your life that god is with you even if you work for the devil even if you work for the devil one day ultimately he's going to destroy you but at least in the interim you will reap the 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 evidence of allegiance is that true there are all kinds of worldly people who are about to tag on and although they are going to hell if they do not repent but in the interim they are enjoying heaven on earth at least that's the consolation to keep them satan took jesus to a mountain and said jesus if you will bow to me i promise you i have i've not started preaching no that's the problem you will just look now and see that it's past nine I wish there was a way I can throw all these clocks out of this, this place. There's so much in my spirit to share. Hallelujah. Everybody say results. Say proofs. If you claim God is calling you in a healing ministry, it's okay that when we start, nothing is happening. But with time, there should be the signature of God upon your healing ministry. I do not know any healing evangelist who organizes a crusade and God does not confirm it. If he's a true healing evangelist, somebody should be sick. Somebody should arise from the wheelchair. I do not know one true person who carries the apostolic spirit of God, who struggles with fear and timidity and does not have the power of faith and the work of God in their lives. I do not know one person like that. Except they are just talking stories. Are you getting what I'm saying? Say after me in the name of Jesus. May my life produce results. Many of you, this is the level you are right now. The reason why nobody has listened to you. Or subscribed to your ideologies. Is because they have not seen the benefit. Is that true? And, 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 and I want to be very honest with you. Benefit in every area of life. Financially, maritally, job-wise, in every area of your life. No matter how critical people are, let me tell you, proof can close the mouth of anybody. Are you getting me? You can criticize a man. The greatest way to respond to your critics is not by answering don't waste your time they are determined not to understand keep trailing the proofs let the works keep speaking at the gates a point will come those they are talking to will say i'm tired of hearing your stories you where's your own proof hallelujah when jesus hung upon the cross about to die the bible says the atmospheric condition the climate just changed and those who looked there they just remembered and truly they acknowledge even in death they saw something there are many of us it will just take one proof everybody say one proof one proof for every
every unbeliever in your house to bow down they've grown in poverty they've suffered in poverty although that's not an ultimate reason to push them to god but trust me prosperity can bring men to god hallelujah when every herbal medicine has failed when every black substance they they tied in the leather and they told your father to chuck in the pocket of all his trousers to bring prosperity when he has put it in every pocket and it refused to bring prosperity and you come teaching the principles of the kingdom and things begin to change come on now you don't argue with proofs hallelujah may your life produce results in the name of jesus christ may you not be like the barren fig tree a fig tree with green leaves that means they are seeing you coming for koinonia every week every week to an extent that others can look at you and mock you and say where is your god i prophesy to you your god is coming through for you in the name of the lord jesus your god is coming through to silence every pharaoh that attempts to mock your god your life will produce results in the name of jesus christ results i believe in results i believe in results many of you are here by the grace of god not necessarily because you love me some of you don't even love me at all you don't plan to it's just that you need the results <laughs> hallelujah but you are still welcome and the power of god is such that the results can be reproduced again and again and again that's why i love the anointing of the holy spirit you don't need to refrigerate it you don't need to give your neighbor to keep it for you and collect it on except you use talisman That's why I worship him. Take his presence and his glory out of my life. Many of you will see me on the street and pass as if you just saw a tire on the floor. That's why I feel sad for people who want to come out of inferiority and complex and kick, they kick God out of the equation and they believe they will be able to rise without him. Impossible impossible if you are tired of your condition the greatest way is to embrace god first hallelujah because god will take you out of every situation results your life must bear fruits in the name of the lord jesus christ say my life must bear fruit go ahead pray in one minute pray in one minute i don't just want us to talk it as stories my life must bear fruit my life must bear fruit my life must bear fruit i've been born again for many years no soul has come to the kingdom as a result of my life lord i'm tired i've been praying for the sick I don't have one verifiable testimony let this change oh god everyone i've prayed for for breakthrough they've returned with worse situations instead of making it better but lord i've told them you are with me change my story the finance of my family has not changed lord i'm not loving you just because of finances but if my finances change my father will follow me to church if my finances change if my loved ones get admission they will come to know you for their sake oh god let there be results in my life please pray i sense that god wants us to pray on this issue my life must bear fruits 
my life must bear fruit my life must bear fruit oh god i'm tired of a barren and unfruitful christian life my ministry is not growing pray because there's no proof my god people come and they leave if there are real miracles if there are real transformations they will come and stay everyone mocks my family in spite of our spirituality because they have not seen god change our level turn again oh god the captivity of zion like the streams of the negev let men see an evidence that god is with us pray say lord let the marriage come even if it is to prove that jesus is alive to prove that the witches and the wizards and the devils in my village do not have the final say lord i know that there is a cause of poverty that lingers in my family but i've confessed your word that it is broken let it show in my life as a testament so that idol worship can stop in my family we have no right to tell men to stop going to herbalist if we cannot produce the proofs that God is with us we have no right to tell people to stop going to the devil to get children if we cannot heal the body we have no right to tell people to stop going to the devil to get money if we cannot prove that God prospers people lift your voice and pray get angry change my story change my story oh God I have served you in spite of the result but tonight i hold on to you change my story pray koinonia there is a spirit of intercession that has come upon the house pray change my story change my story change my story prove a point with my life make me an object of prayer silence the voice of wicked men many are they that rise up against me many are they that say where is his help but i will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help my help comes from the maker of the heavens and the earth oh god let there be a difference between those that serve you and those that do not serve you come on saints of god travel for your destiny there must be an evidence you have been transformed but there are no results there are no results men have a right to speak against your god lord hasten my miracle come on pray hasten my miracle hasten the breakthrough please pray God is answering people in this place Lord give my father the job although my auntie is past menopause give her a child as a sign and a wonder that God is alive although my sister is 40 years old give her a husband that men may know that God is alive although my father was sacked from the job give him another one oh god to prove that you made me a prophet over my family lord you have vowed to increase my greatness produce results in my life come on koinonia pray produce results in my life that can silence men produce results that can prove that my god is alive i love him more than the results but in this season i desire to see the result command it command it increase my greatness let the blind see through my hands oh god for your glory pray let the wheelchair arise 
to silence principalities and powers open the heavens oh god and let prosperity come upon my life where i'll be rejected no man wants to identify with me make me an eternal excellency come on are you praying koinonia and a joy of many generations hallelujah 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 we'll take one prayer point before we settle down you're going to pray and say lord every power that stops my miracles from the heavenlies so that men will keep mocking my god tonight i command you to give way come on lift your voice and pray daniel prayed for 21 days the angel came and said daniel from the first day that you set yourself to pray your prayers were answered but the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, pray i subdue powers i subdue powers that operate in the heavenlies territorial spirits i subdue powers in the heavenly realms i subdue powers workers of evil You must bow there is fire in my life there is fire in my destiny to burn every chaff everything god has not planted shake it off shake it off shake it from your life i shake away witchcraft i shake away divination i shake away enchantment come on now shake it off in the name of jesus no power can stand i am an infant of fire no enchantment no curse can stand against my destiny pray your prayer will bear fruits it will produce results pray the effectual fervent prayer Repetekete is our season of greatness. We wage war against poverty. We wage war against sickness. We wage war against the works of darkness. It's our season to arise. Come on now, pray. Make your life too hot for the devil. Make your life too hot for witches and wizards. Make your life too hot for wicked spirits. Break the yoke from your neck. Break the yoke from your shoulders. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Tell the devil I stand in my priestly and my prophetic office. Tonight I confront you by myself. I confront you by myself. I confront you by myself. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 There must come a time in your life where you stop getting afraid and rise up and say, Satan, I've had the word enough. I don't need to wait for Friday again. Come into my room like Mount Camel. Let's solve this problem once and for all. They've not laid hands on me for nothing. They've not laid hands on me for nothing. One more time, we are going to pray. Come on, pray. This is breakthrough prayers. This is breakthrough prayers. I sense the spirit of prayer and supplication. 
I feel an open heaven. I know when there is an open heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. I taught you on the speaking blood. We are going to apply the blood of Jesus. You are going to say, Satan, this is the price to release my destiny. I invoke the blood. Come on now, Koinonia. I invoke the blood. Every sacrifice that has been born and made, I invoke the blood. The blood of Jesus. I invoke the blood. I cleanse the gates of hell through the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The Christ. Listen, come, let me have four people. Let me show you what prayer does in the spirit. Let me just have four people stand here. Just, just turn like this. Facing. Stand. Just stand behind. Watch this. Watch this. Someone come and hold this. Anybody? This is your miracle. This is your breakthrough, but watch this. Stand there. Please shift forward. Paul said, listen. He said, a great door and an effectual has been opened unto me. He said, but many, many, many are the adversities. These are the spirits. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places watch this the bible says if any man afflicted let him pray if any man afflicted let him pray when you begin to pray watch this there is a force 
there is a force of the spirit that begins to mount pressure 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 on all of these things it's an appeal of the spirit you push through barriers by the power of god's spirit until you take what belongs to you listen listen that's why god gives you one of the reasons why he gives you the prayer language of tongues praying in your understanding will weary you after 20 minutes the bible says you may not understand the dynamics on how to confront this spirit but when you switch to that prayer language the holy ghost hey yeah, 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 yeah. the holy ghost listen when you begin to pray When your prayer life rises, the devil must let you go. If you can pray, the devil must let you go. If you can pray, the devil Hallelujah. See, listen. There is a way you can pray. You will know when you break through. The reason is, the truth is, many believers don't pray. Hallelujah. There is a way you can pray. You will know your spirit is lifted from that realm. You will know an audacity comes upon you. You know you can shake off evil. Hallelujah. One more prayer point. Before you sit down. You are going to say in the name of Jesus. I take back everything the devil has taken from my family prophesy shita wapata keteria tata I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not
The hand of the Lord is upon me and I want to prophesy. As I prophesy, the power of God will be causing breakthroughs and restoration. The anointing of the Spirit is strong upon me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command every power holding anyone down right now in the name of Jesus I command you let them go let them go right now let them go I prophesy breakthrough I command breakthrough in the name of the Lord Jesus I command breakthrough to your family breakthrough financial breakthrough breakthrough in health Academic, in your job, in the name of Jesus, Amen. open heaven, open heaven, it's your season to rise, it's your season of greatness, every power stopping you, we challenge it tonight, in the name of Jesus, please sit down, God bless you, be seated. Your life must become uncomfortable for anything that is not of God. See, I tell you, the power of God is I sense such a strong anointing resting on people. As I teach, God is going to be visiting people in very strong ways. Enough is enough. God gave us a word. He said, I will increase your greatness and comfort you on every side. I'm not sure I can go into the details of tonight's teaching, but... I hope I'll be able to touch. I really have a very serious revelation that I want to share. Let's see how far God can help us. Wherever we stop. Hallelujah. Genesis 1. Verse 26. The Lord gave us a word that this year for us is a season of light and dominion. It's not just a word like many ministries have a word at the beginning of the year. Hallelujah. Light. It's a day that certain Nephtah and Zebulun have seen a great light. A great light. Genesis 1 verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion let them this man i hope you know that when he was speaking the woman was still in the man because man adam not the name of a man dust hallelujah man was first created body has thou prepared for me hallelujah and then he brought about a separation between the man and the woman but before then he blessed them and he said let them have dominion now listen it is in the character of the spirit that the same word that brings you prophecy is the same word that prepares the way for that prophecy to come to pass are you getting my point the bible says when at the brook cherith when the brook dried he told elijah the prophet he said get thee go down to zarephath 
he said dear i have commanded a widow to feed thee but the woman did not sound like god had informed her a prophet was coming however the same word that took elijah to Zarephath was the same word that softened the heart of the woman so when god gives you a word the word follows you through and makes sure that the path is clear until that word comes to pass are you getting what i'm saying so when god said let man have dominion that means there must have been a provision for that man to access what it takes to walk in that dominion hallelujah god does not just speak empty talk it's like sending a man to the market and not giving him money so let's see how god equipped man to exercise dominion in reality hallelujah genesis chapter 2 i wish we had time but i'll just touch briefly wherever thank you jesus verse 8 and the lord planted a garden eastward in eden and there he put the man that he had formed and out of the ground made the lord to grow every tree that is pleasant in the sight and good for food now watch this everybody look up the bible says god made every other tree to grow from the ground are you following me however the bible says there were two trees those trees did not grow from the ground follow me are you getting my point the bible says god made to grow every tree pleasant to the eyes that is good for food then it says the tree of life also also in the midst of the garden and then he says and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil please follow me i want to teach you powerful spiritual laws that can help you to walk in dominion to eat of every tree including the tree of life are you getting my point the first revelation i want you to have is that man's eating the tree of life was not for hunger are you getting me adam could not be hungry he was not in the fallen state are you getting me in the realm of the spirit you don't eat for hunger for hunger you eat for impartation and knowledge that's what food does in the spirit food does not satisfy hunger no no when you eat food like let's say in spiritually now i'm not talking of all these demonic things that people you saw yourself eating sweet in the dream that's not what i'm talking about hallelujah you don't eat in the spirit to satisfy hunger food does two things for you in eden's atmosphere one it gives you knowledge two it gives you impartation hallelujah that's why the prophet was giving the word and he ate it when he ate it it did something to him are you getting what i'm saying now watch this everybody write the mystery of forbidden knowledge that's not the topic i want to show you what the two trees were supposed to represent one was the tree of life the other was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil another word was the it, it carried what we call the mystery of forbidden knowledge the word mystery just means hidden truths about a knowledge that god does not want his people to know not because he hates them you must understand this god does not want us to know everything and then i will show you what the angels came and did the fallen angels when they came they did something to the daughters of men are you getting me they took from this forbidden knowledge and they began to feed mankind with it ah. time, 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 time. praise god God categorically warned man. He said, the trees in the garden of Eden, every time you eat them, 
they will do something to you are you getting what i'm saying so if you eat of the tree of life it will keep giving you the revelation and the insight to walk in dominion it gives life eating of that tree gives life are you getting me that's the mystery of eternal life adumbrated by that tree that's why when jesus came he said ah, ah man shall not live by bread alone if man wants to live he must keep eating something are you getting me so walking experientially for eternal life to be culminated in you there is something that must be done in you please listen and this is where i want to balance this is what where we get the concept of immortality how many of you have heard all those teachings of immortality now unfortunately many people brought the teachings but they did not understand how the operation immortality is not something you claim immortality is a product of eating of the tree of life again and again it causes eternal life not just to translate from your spirit to your soul but to happen in your body and that's where you say oh death where is your sting are you getting what i'm saying now it so happens that our rate of transformation is so slow are you getting me now that the degradation of the sin nature in our body catches up with us before these capsules of rejuvenation find expression in us this is why although the law of immortality is at work not many people will ever enter it the secret is not just prayer for long life the secret is intercoursing with this eternal life that was how adam was supposed to live forever are you getting my point now so by eating of the tree of life that was why when he fell god said no you can't eat of the tree of life again because the tree of life keeps you in whatever state you are and stops you from dying if he ate of the tree of life salvation redemption would not be possible again so god drove him out are you seeing that now god didn't just drive him because he was angry he drove man out of the garden because he loved him praise the lord what is this i want to explain to you what is this mystery of forbidden knowledge look up how many of you have heard of certain books called the books of moses right 10 books of moses 11 books of moses how many of you have heard of all these extra biblical references that were written by egyptians and written by all kinds of people have you heard of those kinds of things how many of you have heard of people that lived long ago in mountains who wrote certain books that were found now listen if i don't teach you this because the lord began to reveal to me that this is the strategy the devil is bringing when the angels do you know why god did not want man to know i hope you know that adam never knew adam never knew that before his coming there was a history hallelujah he had never eaten of the tree that gives the knowledge of good and with it comes evil are you getting me adam was supposed to eat of the tree of life and continue his intimacy with god and reproduce children after his kind when satan came into the garden satan did not make adam sleep with a dog no he knew that that would not get the agenda done he said man come there is one tree i want you to touch just taste it once it will do something to you are you getting what i'm saying now everybody say forbidden knowledge this is the information that through sorcery and witchcraft please hear me the fallen angels and all of these aliens and all of these devilish spirits they downloaded and brought to inhabitants in the earth are you getting me these were the informations that were given men like nimrod so they had super intelligence about certain things are you following me i want to shock you i hope you will believe me look at me did you know that most of our technological advancement are you getting me are as a result of fraternity with beings that were not in the earth 
are you getting me it had to be a supply of a level it's not just human discipline don't mind what all those books tell you just be hard working and think well no sir those people had interactions with beings is that how did solomon become extremely rich and blessed what happened to him god visited him from another realm is that not true they had a conversation listen this conversation is still happening in the earth till today are you following me let me share with you something very briefly i hope you believe me the bible says jesus was giving the parable of the wheat and the tear is that true he said wild man everybody wild man hold on he says while men slept something happened in the earth realm where men were sleeping now the sleeping is not bad we always use that sleep to mean while men were backsliding no he meant literal sleep that means there is something that cannot happen when men are awake are you getting me jesus was telling us something powerful he says the moment men sleep some beings can walk into the earth and he said the enemy quickly comes plants something and goes his way so you wake up with a growth that was not there before you slept and is somebody following me what happened who came and put it there while men slept are you seeing why the bible says the keeper of israel neither nor It says every time men sleep something happens in this earth realm there are certain beings that come into the earth realm that's why people sleep in the night and in their dream realms they have all kinds of encounters with beings and animals and all kinds of things happen from intercourse to eating to every kind of thing and they wake up the next day only for them to fail at work or fail in exams something happened while men slept the psalmist saw this in psalm 91 and he says thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day right nor the noisome pestilence But many believers are dull of understanding. Dominion. Dominion is not just a function of I claim it. There is spiritual intelligence that can bring you into that position where you walk in dominion. Are you hearing what I'm saying, please? Are you getting something? So, this tree of the knowledge of good and evil was never supposed to be consumed by man. Are you getting me look, look at me when you open that book you will find good but you will not know when evil is planted in the good are you getting what i'm saying that's why a pastor can go and read the 12th book of moses or go and read scientology and be looking at it and saying wow so candles or certain things can do something to witches and wizards everybody say forbidden knowledge are you getting that now and then they read certain zodiac books and they look and they say why not i add this knowledge to what i already have are you getting what i'm saying and they will seem to work powerfully that is the forbidden knowledge the tree of the knowledge of good and evil sometimes we celebrate it what do we call it rema is that true and we bring all kinds of things i've heard about men of god and prophets and all kinds of people who do every kind of nonsense in the body of christ all kinds of magic happening everywhere i once heard of a man of god who came for a program and he was preaching and he called somebody he said look at me the person who looked at him became blind at once yes completely blind at once members were clapping people were running to come and drop seed 
I don't know what they were tapping into, but they were running and everybody was happy. Watch this. And then after the guy preached, 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 he did everything and then he prayed again and the guy was open. And he said, for that reason, everything that is closed in everybody's life, you know, I, I open it and you see everybody just shouting, Amen. Listen. Let me tell you. Listen. Listen. Will people get results? They will get tremendous results. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because the laws that have been operated are valid spiritual laws. But this is the point. Because it was not initiated and sponsored by the Spirit of God, although it is correct knowledge, it is called witchcraft. So it's not about what produces result. It's about the Spirit of God initiating and sustaining that process hallelujah there are many teachings coming to the body of christ men and women of god who went to lock themselves to pray for three days and seven days or whatever and in the midst of this prayer because many people did not exalt the word above prophecy they had visitations but they were not of God however they were not visitations of inhabitants of the earth and they came and committed to them power and gave them all kinds of things and they came out from all of those experiences and you see power you see anointing but it is not initiated and sponsored by the spirit and the sign is number one the glory never goes to God. Such kinds of people never give God the glory because it is part of the agreement. Are you following me now? It is God's desire that we grow. The Bible even said knowledge shall increase. But you must guard. When the table is set before you, you are only permitted to eat of the tree of life. There is a kind of knowledge that only puffs up. Have you seen people? Hold on. I want to say a few things that will challenge you have you seen a lot of people please i don't mean this for criticism or anything have you seen a lot of people who got mad as a result of prayer have you have you seen those kinds of things that somebody got to pray and he started praying until they took him to the psychiatry and locked him i remember a lady years ago this lady was praying in tongues seemingly for about almost 48 hours i was there abu secure this girl was just praying 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 she wouldn't listen to anybody i wish i knew what i know now and the thing confuses the body of christ hallelujah everybody say forbidden knowledge Men of God, if you are in ministry here, you have to be very careful. That, that insatiable lust for rema and revelation, you must guard carefully. And let this, that's why walking in the spirit is the secret. It gives you life. When you walk in the flesh, you may learn a lot of principles that although they are powerful, it leads men to death so the more revelation a man is getting the more he's dying not to self dying as a result of the absence of light see this is how you know is one character to know that a man is not of god when you compare the rate of revelation versus the rate of transformation when there is so much word conference is happening conventions happening meetings happening rema upon rema bible study all kinds of things yet you do not see that that word is chaff it lacks the life to build people there is error i hope somebody is learning something here god put two trees and all the trees can supply knowledge for one it is the knowledge that brings life there are certain teachings on deliverance that does not bring life is that true there are certain teachings on deliverance that brings people into bondage 
because people added bible knowledge plus confessions that they got from people who were once witches and wizards is that true and they added everything and they say if you want the devil to run away from you once it's nine o'clock wear red that that one is not in the bible you see that that is that is deception dimension there i, I is somebody following what i'm saying i apologize if maybe these are the tenants of your church or your ministry i really apologize i love the body of christ but i have to teach you the truth so there is the biblical concept of deliverance for instance then there are others who have spent their entire life interviewing seemingly witches and wizards begging for audience with herbalists to explain to them the realm of the spirit knowing that satan is the father of all liars are you getting my point now and it is on the strength of those information they have built their prayer ministries or built a lot of things so when you want to pray for somebody you look and say uh -uh, i can't pray for you like this you are wearing a black shoe change it into a special kind of slippers that you wear when you enter my my this thing for the power to work this one is astrology and witchcraft is somebody getting what i'm saying or you get all kinds of candles with different colors this flame that flame this flame and you say now come and sit in the midst of it and just be calm as i drive this spirit uh -uh. this is called transcendental meditation this is witchcraft hallelujah yet you come and sit down in the midst of that candle something suddenly happens to you and you start taking first in the class all of a sudden your intelligence is heightened you think beyond your level and because you're follow my story please because you are getting results you will be encouraged are you hearing what i'm saying be careful because many people are eating of the forbidden tree they are eating right now today here and now they are getting access to knowledge that seems to be producing results thank you but that knowledge is not of god maybe some of us right here as you are sitting down are already in these deceptions the moment you read those books although they are blowing your mind but something in your spirit starts checking the holy ghost is telling you uh -uh, when did you get into this when did you get into this and you see these books are in our libraries you can get them online many of you have watched every kind of thing you see a man who has supernatural ability to listen to plants and animals and you sit down there are all kinds of books people research online how to hear the language of plants and animals and they put all kinds of codes they say recite it by 12 or 1 many christians you get up carry your big head and stand in front of the mirror and now recite it the last you recite it and just wake up and see that it's morning you slept something happened to you you may not know what happened again anytime god wants to take in and bring out of a man sleep happens and god calls adam to sleep hallelujah are you understanding this we're talking about dominion through through spiritual intelligence the knowledge that leads to death i'm going to share with you very importantly very quickly two laws even if it's just in five minutes wherever we stop that's it for the night two important spiritual laws that can help us i'm committed to making sure that god grants us spiritual intelligence that we have knowledge this is what makes you strong in the spirit prayer is good but it's not just enough to pray you must have knowledge so that when you see things you know what laws are in place and you know what to do about them knowledge takes away ignorance 
knowledge takes away shock from your life so that you are not surprised about anything when you hear that something has happened you don't just panic you understand hallelujah praise the name of the lord law number one is called the law of territory if you want to walk in dominion you must understand this law the law of territory everybody say the law of territory look up please dominion is territorial dominion is territorial even in the satanic organogram they understand the jurisdiction and the boundaries of territories there are spirits and principalities that do not operate in the earth realm it's not their territory of work are you getting me every time they are on the earth realm they are powerless there are certain demonic operations that are territorial i give you an instance when you go to certain territories in this nigeria you see that there are certain traits and satanic operations given to that territory when you go outside of the territory it doesn't seem to have a hold on you again is that true and you go into another territory maybe it's drunkenness that is there you go to another territory maybe it's lust and immorality the operations of the kingdom and the operations of the spirit are territorial every man every kingdom citizen must know this abraham come out of your father's house come out of this territory where you are into a land that i will show you and if you do get to that land then i will bless you and you will be a blessing i will bless them that bless you and curse him that curses you and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed but that will only happen if you leave one territory to another everybody say dominion is territorial it's a spiritual intelligence that you must understand number two is that you must understand very very clearly that in the place of your assignment that is where you will exercise true dominion everything opens up for you at your assigned territory there is an assigned territory where the spirit of dominion can walk in your life hallelujah this is what a lot of people do not understand please look up you must take out time to hear from god are you getting me as to where he wants you to be at every season not just what you want him to do for you but where your blessings are territorial and isaac sowed in that land genesis 26 from verse 12 and isaac sowed not just in any land although there was famine god told him this is your territory of dominion so in that land a man of god may go to zamfara and sit down and say zamfara is not a lucrative place let me run to abuja for ministry and he goes outside of territory are you getting my point and you see a man struggling in a land of plenty he's struggling yet you will see another man in the same zamfara blessings coming from people those who are born again and those who are not born again because you are in the place of your territory say the law of territory many of us right now are at the face of our lives where we are trusting to know where god wants us to settle for every season it can change but that in every season there is a territory you miss your territory you will never walk in dominion because where god has assigned you he has commanded the ravens to feed you he has commanded the widow to attend to you are you getting what i'm saying i'll never forget when we finished the crusade in joss and the pfn people called me in the particular local government in joss and they said would you come and establish a branch of your ministry we'll give you an auditorium free 
and will give a few pastors to train i was happy i went to god god said you would die i told the pff people god said i would die i'm really sorry i can't go as simple as that many of you would have said ah breakthrough god has butter my bread and you will go there that's why you can see a ministry flourishing in a in a particular place and then they move to a place and it's as though god did not call them again favor is a sign that you are in the right place when i send thee lackest thou anything when i send thee lackest thou anything By the grace of God at this level of ministry, I can tell you, I am sure that we are in the place assigned. That's why it doesn't matter what venue we use. Whether it is Blue Roof, whether it is Charity and Faith, whether it's whatever. There seems to be grace backing us. So many people have called me. One lady said, them and their family members, they are praying that I must come to Abuja. They say, relocate, your level is bigger than Zaria. I said, I appreciate you. But I remember there was a man called Ahitophel in scripture. Don't let people advise you out of your destiny they may be genuine they look at you and say kai zaria is it's too much for your level you say it's true just that what will we do and you start thinking and pack your load out of your destiny into a land where there is no assigned space for you you get into the land and there is no divine assignment for you there's no space for you you keep fighting and struggling with everybody Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, let us remain in this territory where we are sure that your presence is with us. This may be the answer to some of the tragedy of many of our parents. They got up because of looking for greener pastures. They just packed their load and said, Lagos, here we come. Ten years now, they are still suffering. every door shuts at your face it's a sign to go back for retreat and say lord speak to me speak to me where am i missing it don't just let jobs and all of these things decide your destiny i know this looks like a, a stupid statement and many people will criticize me for it they'll say are you joking in nigeria where there's no job but you must be careful you exercise dominion in the place of your territory your territory does not just mean the geography alone it means your jurisdiction of operation are you getting me if i go and enter the prophetic ministry right now as an office i'm not a prophet as an office i may operate in prophetic dimensions but god did not call me as a prophet in, in officially like your office your jurisdiction if I now say I'm going to come in and make sure I prophesy for everybody one by one, I give you two weeks. Many of you will start praying and fasting for me because you will start having all kinds of dreams of me missing it. You say, oh God, what is happening? This guy is missing this thing. There are many men of God who were called to be teachers or pastors, but they, they got outside of territory. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are other people who were called into prayer ministries. Their anointing is the anointing for intercession. But they've now begun to teach wealth seminars and teaching all kinds of prosperity conventions. That's not wrong, except that you have come out of territory. Everybody say territory. You will only walk in your dominion if you confine yourself and limit yourself to your territory, your jurisdiction of operation. There are certain dimensions of ministry if God instructs me to engage in, I will find graces that are called at the heart of that area and bring them. It doesn't matter whether I can preach more than them. It doesn't matter whether I have more miracles than them. Uh -uh. It's about the grace and the dominion. When a man is in his area of territory, you will exercise dominion freely. You see why a lot of pastors are struggling. You go to a church and copy what a man of God is doing. You do not know his his ministerial packaging are you getting my point so many people who are pastors trying to do the work of apostles little persecution comes and they are crying they cannot move forward because see when god calls a man he equips you according to the office 
when you learn this law you will walk in dominion absolute dominion there are things i have no business doing if god gives me an instruction he will have to give me a special grace for it or direct me to the people who will administer that level of building to the body of christ watch my knee calls it the limitation of the body people struggle because they do not understand their jurisdiction of operation is someone getting blessed tonight your assigned territory god has honored you in the area of catering when it comes to catering you walk in dominion there the next thing you got up and you just heard that people are doing um building materials and you just get up and go there you say i'm supplying building materials your first supply there was trouble second supply 10 years down the line you are still struggling everybody say territory thank you jesus the second law and then we will pray this one is very important it is a law that you must believe in and walk in it it's called the law of exchange this is a powerful spiritual law if you must walk in dominion giving something you love for something you desire is called the law of exchange the law of exchange you laid aside your majesty gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created you took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today you reign in heaven and now exalted i really want to worship you my lord you are my heart and i am yours forever and ever i will love you you are the only one who died for me you gave your life to set me free and so i lift my voice to you in adoration listen how many of you have had that a man gave up his ability to give birth to children for money have you heard of that everybody say the law of exchange when you understand this law you will know the reason why evil seems to happen in a place unhindered when the bible says an eye for an eye have you heard that tooth for tooth i've studied it it's not like when i break your teeth you will break back my own to revenge are you getting me it's called compensation that means if i do something to you you must take back something that can appease you to the equivalence of the offense are you getting what i'm saying it's called the law of exchange that's where we get trade by butter i give you a cow you must find something that is commensurate to the worth of that cow are you getting me that's why when man fell based on the justice of god god looked around to see what can be given he said if i give gabriel it's not enough if i give michael it's not enough do you know why because angels themselves are imperfect i hope you know it angels excel in light they excel in strength but they are still imperfect do you want me to show you job let's look at it one scripture you are the one who said i should show you Turn to the book of Job. Sorry about the time. We'll round up now. He could not give the angels because they are imperfect.
Job 4. Please project it. Job 4, verse 18 and 19. I want us to read it together. Job 4. Can we hurry up? Our time is... Job 4. Everyone read. Want to read. He charges angels with what? Verse 19. He said even his servants, he didn't trust them. And even the angels, he charged them with foolishness. How much more a man that wants God to use him without being trained? <laughs> so God could not give Gabriel and Michael and all of these people and so he looked at the perfect one the sinless one and said you are the only one that can go as an exchange for what i desire please listen to me the same principle satan wanted to use for jesus christ he took jesus to the mountain and he said bow to me in other words let me give you wealth and exchange it with your loyalty for me are you getting my point just bow to me since you are the expression of the godhead bow to me so that the father will see you bowing to me and i can give you wealth so when a man goes to meet a herbalist he tells him what are you going to give me in exchange please listen i will tell you this is the reason why many territories are powerful this is why some of the terrorisms you see in nigeria are powerful they always give something in exchange for the authority to invade a territory that's why they do it military might irrespective are you getting my point when you come to god and say lord i want you to use me god says what is the exchange for it and he say lord take my life have you had that scripture that says what shall it profit a man if he does what and what loses his soul that means he said satan let's do business and satan said of course i'm a good businessman i will give you my soul give me the world so that anywhere i do business whether in italy whether in dubai let it work so that i must be the governor of this state or i must be this take my soul so that i will be the reigning musician and nobody can stop me and he says all right let's have the deal and he says take my soul they have received the mark of the beast that's the 666 there it's not something that will be put on their hand they have given their soul they have received the mark are you getting my point so satan comes to you what do you want to give in exchange please listen something must be given in exchange if you must walk in true dominion everybody knows this it's not a herbal strategy it's a spiritual strategy i'm walking in the anointing i'm walking in by the grace of god because i received this of grace but something went for it my life my will my ambitions my desires they were laid down that's why i wrote that song take all of me all of me you have my everything that's my deal with God you have my everything are you getting me so my entire life will give him glory the day I compromise on my own part of the deal his mercy will show up but if I walk in rebellion I have broken the deal that's the reason why a man can give an exchange he will say I will give you my firstborn only give me this political position when the firstborn is now born the people come and say oh yeah oh, we gave you the power we gave you the wife where is our firstborn and you say sorry i didn't realize that children are this nice i've changed my mind they say you've changed your mind we will see all of a sudden the child starts getting sick they must collect their child except the power of god intervenes this is the reason why many families are suffering people covenanted families in exchange for money kings covenanted their territories are you hearing what i'm saying they gave it in exchange for protection 
they gave it there are families that gave in exchange their fertility so no children can happen in that family there are families that traded boys they said there shall be no men take give us might what men would have done let the women in our family do but take all the men and you find out that no matter how people try they will never give birth to men they give birth to men they will die no matter what happens you just hear that he was taking fresh air outside a bike came and carried him are you hearing what i'm saying exchange see these laws are not old testament laws they are spiritual laws they are still working today here and now are you hearing what i'm saying this is the law that terrorists use before they ever carry an assignment they must take out time are you seeing the reason why every time they shed blood people become richer think about it the moment blood is shed somebody makes money exchange 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 are you seeing the reason why the sacrifice of solomon touched the lord he offered a thousand bond offerings it was an expression of his heart god could not stop he came down many of us may never walk in dominion because you are not ready to exchange your life for his life you are not ready to exchange your strength for his strength but tonight how many people are ready to say lord take everything if this is the price for your grace and your glory don't let anybody fool you and say there's no price you go to a harbor list and see if he will just give you power like that look at me there are men who sacrifice their wives for wealth true or false some christians right there are pastors who sacrifice their children for church growth there are pastors who sacrifice their members for expansion i've said it again and again nothing just happens the day jesus will come we have a long wall film to watch that's when we will know that most of the things we call coincidences were not coincidences hallelujah listen let me tell you something i will never forget one time i was praying in the night years ago and i prayed and i was dedicating my body unto god i stripped myself the way my mother gave birth to me and i lay down on the floor I said, Lord, let this body become a superconductor of your anointing. If there is anything you can do to this mortal body, let it carry your power. This body cannot be used for sin and hell. It, it, I dedicate it unto you. And God said, this is what you are giving me. I will put my glory upon your life. And somebody just comes and says, God, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. And the, Lord, the demons are just looking and saying, look at all these ignorant people. These are the negotiations that many scientists did with aliens are you getting me many intelligent people they said give us give us technology give us the wisdom you used and gave the pharaohs of old give us and let us do supernatural things in exchange we will give you the souls of men we will give you mankind we will give you a lot of things and it's happening here in the earth that's why you can see a man sitting down all of a sudden within two weeks this man becomes a mysterious millionaire either god has done something to him or the devil has done something there was an exchange somewhere a man of god is sitting down and all of a sudden power comes upon his life he begins to do supernatural things i tell you there is an exchange he has either gone to the throne of grace to exchange his life and say lord take it take my life and use me for your glory or he has gone to a herbalist and say take my firstborn or every two two years kill 10 members from my church as a sacrifice and let the anointing keep rising everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost 
shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned Listen, unto me. The Bible says everything written in scripture was for our learning. That story was not just written there. God intended that someone with the eyes of the spirit can see and teach a people that you don't win battles with swords. Swords only help you possess your possession. Swords only help you manifest victory. They don't create victory. What creates victory, brothers and sisters, is the priesthood and the ark. What manifests victory is your sword. It is true that the horse is prepared for battle, but the horse does not fight until the priesthood goes. The nation of Israel will be going for war and they will carry swords and then they will carry priests with a trumpet. Look how silly it is to be going to fight. They can wipe a whole nation. Yet there are some people with some irritating regalia and the painful part is they are never behind. They are in front. The priesthood, they are afraid, but they know what they carry. They depend on the ark. Left for me, you will kill me. And the enemies are laughing and saying, you have come to fight us like this? Priesthood. Our generation is a very arrogant generation. That's why we may never get results. Many young people just, I'm not saying anything is wrong with intellectualism. We have so, we have demeaned ourselves from the reality of the realm of the spirit do you know you look at certain people and you are even annoyed because in all honesty you see the efforts i'm correcting you now you have been doing it wrongly you have been fighting a neighbor even if the neighbor leaves provided jericho is there it doesn't matter who comes back the battle is the same listen if jericho is still there leave zaria and travel to lagos leave zaria and go to us right from the 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 airport there trouble will meet you but crumble jericho and remain in your village and watch the booty of jericho look for you and come it is not by strength it is by strategy i show you a strategy tonight to command strange signs and wonders is the mystery of the priesthood Do you know Do you know why Saul lost his throne? Are we Bible students? Do you know why Saul lost his throne? Who can tell me why he lost his throne? Saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended God. Saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern, an order of operation. He waited there was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him and the king said look you are wasting our time the people are destroying me say ah, is it not the same god we all serve the same god and he offered the sacrifice and when samuel came he said no you have done foolishly if you allowed me to come god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the throne is taken away from you just for the sin of violating priesthood a man lost his throne without knife no knife nobody fought him but he lost his throne david tried to do his best to still respect him he was sitting in a physical throne yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit show me the job in the realm of the spirit otherwise stop wasting your time with cvs around it will not work are you getting what i'm saying you just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones i've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look i want to talk to you about he helps you and say jesus i've been waiting because jericho has fallen are we together you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls 
like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace i'm balanced i'm this and that and that you are and jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way jesus knew this imagine jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere jesus went men followed him are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you it's true. listen when you hear people testifying ah huh? try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened this is paul teaching the church in ephesus he says alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence 
of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin. And I watched the folly of men, how we do our best. I was once like that, but no more. I'm born again. I've repented. I've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically. It has to be from the realm of the spirit first. Not from the realm of the spirit, whether first or not. The order is first from the realm of the spirit. When you plant a seed, it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there. That is the part you cannot explain. When it starts coming out, you can now water it. But the growth there doesn't need your watering. Listen, there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights, some of us will never experience progress in our lives. We wake up in the morning, we sleep late in the night, we are sincere, but nothing is working. Are we together? Yes. Every time a blessing comes, trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything. The moment you are rising spiritually, how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that? When you are rising, Satan doesn't fight you. You will think you are victorious. The programming, he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down. So he can as well allow you to rise. And you find out for a season, everything is working well because it's like a string. You will reach a limit, it pulls you back. Are we together? Oh, I want to marry you. No problem. You will even be happy. Three days later, everything scatters. I'm going to give you a job and you find out that Satan does not need to fight you. He already fought you with the presence of Jericho. And God said, guys, the goal is not to stay in Jericho, but you can't let Jericho stand and reach where you are going. Don't pity it. Bring it down. There is a, don't just look at the fence. There are captives in that place. There are treasures in that place. And he said, let me show you. It is not by physical fighting. You don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence. Brothers and sisters, Jericho sank flat. The Bible records it flat. This is what is going to happen to many of us tonight. That's why, that's why I, I told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals, it's for families. Enough of this fruitless trying, doing everything by strength. There is a system in the kingdom. Are we together? The priesthood. There are some of us here, we are ministry. Some of us probably travel for a long time. We are men of God, we love God. But it looks like there is a peg. Brothers and sisters, let Jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be. There are people who have experienced the defeat of Jericho, but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat. Someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused Jericho to fall for them. They just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory. So they can trivialize the existence of Jericho. Jericho is real. If you don't see it in your life, a priesthood already brought it down for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But everyone who must pass. Remember, Israel is God's own people. What is the business between Israel and Jer They had conquered other nations. What do they need the treasures of Jericho? When you read your Bible with an open heart, you will see that there are gaps. You have to be spiritual to get an explanation. I fight, I defeat Jericho, and I continue my journey. But I carry Rahab. I carry treasures. There is Rahab there. Without Rahab, there is no Jesus. Without Rahab, the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry Rahab. Mm. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh, we look 
to Yahweh. soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king and now looks at david but there was no priest to confirm what god wanted the priest that was available still wanted saul and david could not be king god almighty had left saul and wanted david samuel said no i still want saul and God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter you saw it in 2014, no priest. 2015, no priest. That your dreams show you Eden. Your life shows you Adulam. There's a system of translation. Are we together? And all of a sudden, the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping seeing that i have rejected saul as king rise up carry your horn go to the house of jesse go and anoint the next king of israel paraphrasing and david remained there i'm sure david will be in the wilderness and say when will my change come the change was in a negotiation between god god already intended in god's mind this is the next king and the king will sit with sheep and say, Oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, The day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence... If that I could not go before us, I'm not going, no. Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Rest is a gift. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Rest is a gift. My presence will go with you. And I, through my presence, will give you rest. My presence will clear up the spirits. And whatever you do. When you read 2 Chronicles 20, the same thing happened. Three kings came together to defeat the people of God. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, the priests and the musicians were now in front. And they began to sing. You are good and your message endure forever. The ark started fighting them. Who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? And the Bible says all of a sudden they turn. Can you imagine allies together? When the ark starts fighting for you, is fearful. Are we together? Fearful. You are standing close to danger. It never touches you. Before it touches you, something touches it. The priesthood. The people started killing themselves. And the Bible says everyone helped to kill another. That's not a man fighting. That's the ark fighting. And all of a sudden, when the last two were left, he killed one and the ark said, what are you waiting for? And he carried the knife, killed himself. And when the people came, they found gold, they found treasures. When the ark fights, it fights thoroughly. When you fight... If your hand paints you like Moses and start going down, 
you see that they can defeat you but you carry the ark and let it begin to fight they kept the ark and they kept dagon these people brought an entity a god enshrined with spirits called dagon the bible did not show us there were any physical contact by morning dagon fell face forward on the ground the superiority of the presence of god above any enchantment and any ordinance when you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by occultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same jericho that causes barrenness it is still jericho the bible didn't say jericho do you know look at the interesting thing jericho fell flat but the woman who stayed in the fence how god delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain 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 is to break every chain break every chain break every listen brothers and sisters we're about to pray but i plead with you in the name of the lord to believe this mystery as simple as it looks and you will watch the wonder in your life stop focusing on physical things you will cheat yourself a thousand times nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own if anything on earth stands there is a force keeping it There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain, break Listen, the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen. I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry. Because they have been fighting physically. They do everything. And sometimes you wonder and say, ah, look how great this brother is. Look how great this sister is. Is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it? Hallelujah. Listen. People make all kinds of gifts for me, as you can imagine. People make all kinds of gifts. And sometimes I see what people do, and I'm shocked. I say, life is so unfair. How can this brother, this sister be this gifted, and yet be begging? And you see someone come out from somewhere, and priesthood goes before him. And in one week, his life has changed. They can even be sarcastic. Priesthood will make them take life for granted. There is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life. Please hear me. There are families here listening. You have done all you know. Why don't you allow God? Allow the ark come into your home tonight. 
and let it go around Jericho. Allow the ark come into your life tonight. Let it go around Jericho and you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself. Hallelujah. I was told recently about a young man, very nice, wonderful young man who loves God. Everything you know in life, including good things, fight him. And recently, I think something happened. They stole a phone. And the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy. And he was sitting down. The man kept the phone there. And police came and took two of them together. I got a text. The person sent me a text. And when he narrated everything that was happening, I usually don't call people back. But I was touched. I called him. I said, where are you? He said, Apostle, look at my life. Nothing works. I said, how did you get to the police station? He said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him. You think that's ordinary? Maybe that young man, breakthrough is coming for him. Another thief from somewhere steals, comes to drop a phone close to you. Does the police not have common sense to probe? And they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job I thought it was all about marriage. I thought it was all about children. I thought it was all about my background. Now I'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem, provided Jericho is standing there. But Joshua, gather the priests. Gather the priests. Have a look at those listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say i will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin Everywhere on Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Self tell me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirits. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the ironic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning, a priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We're talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood, the Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all. Once and for all. The advocacy of that priesthood is superior. Listen. Every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says down listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon. And God says, these things are inferior. I come with another priesthood. My own self, the son of righteousness. I am the light. Are we together? I want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family. I tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown of the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work 
that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministry lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that asked it receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery of oh god lord why the circle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy hallelujah 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 please just just be silent for a moment i want to start ministering now let's just the lord is giving me instructions just just be silent stand where you are um something is happening inside outside everywhere the lord is showing me something very strange now um let me just describe what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that looks like um this thing people wear what's the name this thing that looks like a um, ladies thing that men wear that that looks like a yes that that thing that's what i'm seeing on many people and the lord is telling me on everyone that i see that thing in there is a very strange deliverance because that i'm hearing hidden glory and i want to pray please you don't don't shout don't do anything just let me flow you start bringing those people out i'm going to pray now for those group of people i'm seeing it because i'm seeing that those people no matter what you do your glory is never seen you will struggle and try but nothing ever happens now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free Restore their glory now. Jacob's kapatariata and the keta kaskotariata. Brakato katabalia. Hidden glory. That's what I hear in the spirit. Hidden glory. Hidden glory. There is glory, but covered in Jericho. Covered by the fence of Jericho. Pakapata kato sabra katalia. Everywhere, inside, outside. I'm praying now. Please just be sensitive. Let's let's do what God is directing us to do. Tonight there must be total victory. Total victory. Now I'm praying for families. The anointing of God will come on individuals, but it is for families. It will come on you. Once that anointing comes on you now, know that God is visiting your family. Lord, I pray now. I release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost i don't 
don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus i command now by the power of the holy ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory the lord is still touching people the lord is still touching people that's why you came you have done the listening let me pray now hallelujah lift your hands something serious is going to happen here now now i want to pray a very serious prayer the lord is leading me to pray this prayer i just had in my spirit altars of poverty hold on just keep your hands lifted father i'm praying you spoke to my ears altars of poverty if there is any family here in an ordinance under that cause nothing works there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight For all of you in front here, I speak to the spirits. You know my voice. In the name of Jesus and at the count of three, you let them go now. One, two, three, go, go. Out of them now. Out of every one of their destinies. Out of their lives. Shekatos Kabariata. I invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives. Release their families now. Release their destinies now. You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus play now lift your hands i declare the spirits that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now 
be free now be free now everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah oh sephia 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 like sephia i'm hearing a name sephia who is that please let's let's hurry up there is a lot to do i want us to settle down really pray for the sick sephia who is that her eyes her eyes her eyes your name is sephia how about you madam the lord will locate the person i'm standing here and i'm seeing an angel of the lord touching the person god wants me to speak to her eyes i'll pray for all of you but in the name of jesus christ i deliver this lady now this lady on red i command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone for you it's over now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i release you now by the power of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy spirit be set free right now Sephia, the lord bring liberty liberty now i command those altars to leave you in the name of jesus christ the anointing of the holy ghost bad luck bad luck i take it out of your life the spirit of i'm seeing a lot of bad luck i take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone uh, you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became this please don't be ashamed i want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly who is ola i'm hearing a name ola ola i don't know if that's the full name but there's ola ola there's someone with that name ola Please don't come out if it's not your name. Who is this? Huh? Your name is Ola. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Breakthrough has come to your family. This lady. I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are... Please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are Ola interesting come that lady with cap come your salvation has come come this lady with lift your hands over now over now over now calm down madam come i'm seeing what happened yes a woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be with physical physically are you seeing what i'm saying look at this when was that last year may she appeared face to face and tell me it shall never will be well with you no matter how whatever you take that you are not feeling fine the medicine will not work and from that hold on from that day something started moving in your body yes. it will move and come to your back and come to your chest area look at this are, are you seeing a swelling here you are seeing this a woman appears to her I prophesy to someone here Jacas koto parakatia empreke to so bataria talikata anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life I curse those people now 
I curse those people now. I curse those people now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Madam, I deliver you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now in the name of Jesus. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is speaking to me. There are some of you, all you see is dead people. All you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people. I'm prophesying, lift your hands. The anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now. In the name of Jesus, if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command a separation now. The spirit of Hades, I speak to you. The spirit of Hades, Christ has triumphed over you. Oh, death, take away your sting. Take away your sting. Hallelujah. There are a number of you here. I presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair. That's your son. That's your brother. What happened to him? What happened to him? Accident. Since when? 2015. And he paralyzed you. You can't move now. Oh dear. We are going to pray for the sick. But I want to pray for Ola now. Just, just stand. Bring for me the person. I'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now. Aside from this lady, there is, there is an anointing coming on one of you. Let me speak to that one person right now. I'm seeing a closed door. This is someone's destiny. It looks like I'm holding the air, but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit. Whose destiny is that? Among these people standing. Open, 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 open now. I command that destiny. Open. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You came alone? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry, I'll pray for the sick, sir. If, I'm, if I don't talk, are you Allah, sir? No, don't, don't come out until I ask you. This is witchcraft. You would have died since last year, June. Yes, sir. It's God that kept you. I will pray for you. I've seen your case already. If I don't pray for you, in three months, you will not be walking again. This is stroke. What is wrong with you? Yes, sir. All my body. This is what I'm saying. Yes. I'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again. We have to pray. This is witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Come, my dear. This lady. I'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical, in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing an old woman. Hold my hands. What fellowship. The exchangers of destiny. I hold the hands of this lady. And I declare right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be a restoration. A very beautiful girl in the physical. But I'm seeing the face of an old woman. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. I command the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life. I command that your destiny be restored. Your destiny be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you standing here. My, my brother. This gentleman, come. What's your name? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a printer, sir. You are a what? Printer, printer. Nothing is working in your life. I need to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I break this embargo I see upon your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This row, I'm seeing deliverance. Chicken feather. That's what I'm seeing. Chicken feather. This is an ordinance over a family. Just this row. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Kabaroko to sobaria talikata. Jakaske barikato siyanapata. Let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Mama, I know that it's not time to pray, but I want to pray for you. Please come, madam. You came alone. Let her come. You came alone. I, I did my fault 
and my heart has been here. So one of my say, son friend brought me here. When you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you together. come from? I come from uh, Samaru. From but, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The sorrow. In my life. In my life. Must end. Must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will eat. I will eat. The fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now in the name of Jesus. My dear, don't be embarrassed. Eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness of evildoers. I pray for you now. Every captivity in our last family whether male or female as i stretch my hands over you i command that it leaves you now it leaves your family now i say it again it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of jesus for the last time now an anointing will come on you it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of jesus christ god bless you please go back to your seat go back to your seat go back to your seat hallelujah now lift your hands everybody gentlemen when it's time to pray for the sick we'll pray for you huh? just be patient please help him so that he doesn't strain himself all of you lift your hands one scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now why are you here my dear you are with him oh is your daddy what okay since then there is something that has been working on his body like you had an say, accident yes sir Okay, and what happened? And since then, something has been working on his body, on his stomach, like snake. At times, the thing. Are you seeing what I'm saying? So it was never about accident. You see, accident was just the condition that made this happen. I saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again. But the Lord would destroy it. Eh? Just be patient. We want to pray now. Let me show you one scripture. And then we'll pray. Exodus chapter 15. Quickly please. 6 to 11. Exodus 15. We're going to do a quick walk. We need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, has dashed into pieces the enemy. Next verse to 11. And in the greatness of thy excellency... Thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as trouble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. To 11. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw up my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Next verse. Thou didst blow with thy wind. And the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty water. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, comma, fearful in praises doing not delivering doing wonders that's what you're about to see now lift your hands he said i will pursue i will overtake my lust my desire will fall upon the people of god i want to pray listen deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down is 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 bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a parting, a separation. The Bible says the river separated Tita and Hitha. Separation to allow you move. I want to pray. Are you ready now? Remember that after they moved the seventh time, it was a shout, the healer. A shout, not just any shout, a shout that was sent 
like a word and the bible says the walls of jericho fell down flat that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of jesus christ the one whom i serve and whose i am in the name of jesus i declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus i command that fire to fall every power every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment go now go now go now every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah i usually don't do this until i'm directed hallelujah i usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right i just want to pass through you don't have to touch me except it is not god that has called this meeting if there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of jesus ordinances be broken now i'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of jesus christ be free now in the name of jesus as i'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three shake it be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be 
be free now. Help them. Be free now. Lift your hands over flow three. I'm praying for you. Are you ready to shout Jesus again? There are many of you, you try to move forward, but the force keeps holding you. As you shout Jesus now, you're going to see something leave you. Are you ready? Father, all those who have been held captive, I declare that as they shout Jesus, let your fire of deliverance come upon them. One, two, three. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Go forward. I release you now. Delay broken. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. I'm going to pray for everybody. But the Lord is saying there are some of you here. The call of God is upon your life. But there are altars fighting you. I'm about to release you. Oh God, I'm seeing 17. 1, 7. Where are they, oh God? Right now, to the back. Where are they? They have the call of God. But an altar of darkness. Tying down their lives. Mata soto pakariakata. Be free now. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. Look up, please. There are 11 of you. The Lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family. And the anointing, that anointing, of that Joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people. Lord, where are they? To the back. Right to the back. That anointing, a destiny is rising. No, even if you are the last born. I decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer I want to pray for you. Many of you will be surprised what happens to you. Listen. I'm seeing keys. Like a key that was missing. Some of you were once. You were destined for certain things. And the devil veered off your life. And as it is right now. The treasure that God gave you. You have lost it. As I pray for you. That restoration anointing is coming upon you. Some of you is anointings. Some of you is business connections. Lord, where are they? At the count of three. Let that fire come. Shout Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Receive that grace now. Restoration, fire, fire, fire. Shake up butter. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Great grace. Great grace. Great grace. Great grace. New season. New season. Mama, look at me. It's over. Over. Forever. Over. 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 It's going to use you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please everyone pray in the spirit. 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 Please pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. 
Overflow one, pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen, please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. There are some of you here, as I'm looking, I'm just seeing chains. I want to pray at the count of three. I didn't come to waste your time. Right now, that chain is going to leave people now. Anyone here under the sound of my voice, and there is a chain of darkness overflow one. I declare at the count of three right now, let that chain be broken. One, two, three. I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakasko Pariata. Zato Kata. Be broken, broken. Fire is coming. I'm seeing fire moving across the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break every force, every yoke of darkness. Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? Come. I'm seeing an evil spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the anointing of the spirit. I release the destiny of this baby. You will not lose this baby. In the name of Jesus Christ, help her. This lady praying in tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ, the grace for dreams and visions, the Lord is releasing it upon you. Grace for dreams and visions. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to walk across this crowd. Please, I just want you to release your faith. Release your faith and receive something now. As I walk through, I'm seeing altars and they are living right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let there be deliverance right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Let that fire as I move, oh God, let the angel of your presence move. Let there be deliverance. It is over. That's what the Lord says to you. Over now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Over, 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 over. Shabbat kata, sheketes kalabra katozi atakata. Over now, in the name of Jesus. Over by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It is over. Please believe as I'm passing you. Don't, don't worry. The anointing of God will locate you. Over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over now. Now. Over your life. Let it be over. I'm seeing fire moving here like this. Who is that fire for? In Jesus name I stretch my hands. Let there be deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Mama be free. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ supernatural deliverance um i'm seeing a circle here and the lord is saying restoration of ministerial anointing a circle lord where are they there are people here at least four of you i stretch my hands let the anointing locate you the call for ministry the call for ministry the call parakato sedekatoshia enter enter that level that's what i hear in the spirit enter enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is is it victory or victoria i'm hearing a name like a victory or victoria who is that please very quickly want to pray for the sick now it's like you are wearing something like blue blue who is that person What's your name, madam? Victoria. Yes, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. You've been coming. Madam, look at me. God is going to change your story. Completely. Amen. I don't know you, but yes. the Lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Hold my hands. Look at me. There is bad luck on your life, my dear. Good things come, but they never stay. And the Lord is saying to take it away right now. Be free. In the name of Jesus, I take away that spirit from your life. I set you free to move forward. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can we go in? Who is Victoria? All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Everyone open your mouth and begin to pray. 
prophesy say in the name of jesus i'm breaking forth spiritually in the name of jesus christ it's a new level for me it's a new level for me enter a new dimension enter a new dimension now in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm passing here now there is an anointing move move to the next level i'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing step into a new dimension i release that grace now i release that grace now i stretch my hands everything that has held you down let it leave you now in the name of jesus my god look at this are you seeing the legs are rotting completely in the name of jesus be free now i command be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at me my dear go home and write it good news comes for me in 12 days lord lose their destinies i'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing let the destiny be open now open now in the name of jesus christ i'm standing here and i'm hearing i have called you accept my call accept my call accept my call accept my call my call is upon your life my call is upon your life stop fighting my call is upon your life that's what the spirit of god is saying my call is upon your life accept my call my call is upon your life my mandate is upon your life my mandate is upon your life that's what god is speaking my mandate is upon your life you cannot fight it it's an ordinance decided from heaven my mandate is upon your life light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle pastor lawrence speed come where is where is your wife to be come come two of you I see a grace for speed lift your hands enter that dimension now i release that grace speed to your life the lord is taking away delay go and mark it you are entering a strange level i see you climbing a ladder and the lord is saying it's time for your glory it's time for your glory light me lord light me lord light me lord collect that child quickly from kenny collect that child speed that grace collect that child in the name of jesus i'm seeing that grace a new dimension of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed hallelujah mm. i'm seeing something for you i'm simply stand up i'm seeing a bottle of oil and i'm seeing dollars a bottle of oil and dollars these two dimensions the spirit and supernatural resources that grace the lord is multiplying it i'm seeing a bottle a bottle of oil a bottle of oil the lord is giving you a voice not only in the area of finances but a strange demonstration of the spirit please be patient we are going to pray for the sick but tonight I, I perceive God is doing something strange young man come come you and this guy two of you come stand step into a new dimension new dimension in the name of Jesus you will never be the same this guy just lift your hands where you are come enter a new level in the spirit I release that grace now upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm looking at people and I'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat. And the Lord is saying, is the spirit of prophecy. Lord, I'm declaring right now. It's happening to people right now. It will come upon you like a mantle. Prophecy. Prophecy.
prophecy from your belly from your belly prophecy i command those rivers makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly there is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 I bring you out of the cage that I see you in. I bring you out of the cage. I bring you out of the cage. I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus, by fire, I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's, where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come. The powers will fight no more. 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 There are ordinances fighting this family. I see it in the spirit. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, victory is established. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, I need to step into a new level of the prophetic that has always been there. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shalabarakatos. This usher lady, come in the name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to see things before they happen. That's what the Lord is saying. I should tell you, God is putting something in your eyes. You will see things. Shata Sotosha, Marie Katos Kobariakata. You will see things before they happen in the name of Jesus with precision, with precision, and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here i'm seeing a flag being raised up and the lord is saying it's a new season i'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit the lord is announcing you i'm declaring let that anointing come upon you a new season let that flag be raised in the name of jesus let that flag be raised you will never never be down let that flag be raised in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick let's just flow god you know sometimes this is this lady you come yes say for my shame say it for my shame i receive double the lord is taking me to a new level and i receive it i lay my hands upon you in the name of jesus the grace for a new level 
is released upon you right now i command it so i declare it so in jesus name i pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life i lay my hands upon you i command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ confusion ends over your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing i will, I will prophesy generally but i'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but i'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify i don't care whether the resources are there or not i stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of jesus christ let that anointing by the spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come i want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in amen you believe what i'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of jesus christ this lady you come the lord is saying i'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach i lay my hands upon you i'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through i command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, um in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, god will grant grace pastor lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ what's wrong with you my dear Huh? fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please Walk help this lady miracle, in the name of jesus 
Walk my miracle here I release today. that anointing upon you right Walk now. My miracle, I correct your Jesus. body now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit. If they are still praying for you outside, just, just continue. Please, if your request is yet to come here, you can quickly wave it, wave it, and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. By faith, believing that God will visit you. Don't, don't stretch your hands out of unbelief. If there are requests here to come, please let them come here quickly. Please bring them quickly. Shabakato soprakato baladabash. Unto you that answers prayers, O God, shall all flesh come. Rakato sodo brendege barakato shabradiski labaria. Enda kato sata prakato jalabaria kato brendege degodos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakato kaparakato barikata sipiada balarabash. Shakata parakata paroto subriash. Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shata prakato barakato barikate kate. Shalekate prandakata barakatosh. Eketo kaparokata bariataba. Lord, let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus. Let this be the last time. Shabakata pakata 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 pakata. Endeketo rakato shada pragada baladaba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven, visit your people. Shabakata parada baroto soto predegate, legata kato prandegate presha de bele de bosh. Hallelujah! 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 Please respond with a resounding amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people. Lord, these requests represent different dimensions of demonic Jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny. Father, as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going around Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, you're going to shout Jesus. We're going to shout Jesus seven times are we together as a prophetic act over this i'm going to guide you and you will shout it for every one shout let it represent one day going around jericho that at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act I know God, I stand leading your people as we shout that name. The name of our high priest who has been exalted above the ironic priesthood, above any kind of priesthood. Are you ready now? I will call the number and you shout Jesus. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Number five. Number six. I put an anointing on this seventh shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. Jesus.
I decree and declare unto you prepare for strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of Jesus Christ I command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever hallelujah I release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah I decree and declare that every garment he saw Joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life i tear it off from your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare divine direction lord what do i do where do i go to tonight by dreams and visions and strange encounters i provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of jesus christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed I anoint you go and succeed I anoint you go and succeed I anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of Jesus Christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the Bible says lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted oh ye not doors ancient doors i come against every ancient door and every gate swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus every helper that must arise tonight not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by God to rise up and come to your aid I provoke favor towards you from them I provoke favor towards you from them I provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of Jesus I direct their eyes to you I say it again whoever has what it takes to help you I direct their hearts to you the same mystery that bound Jonathan and David I declare wherever your helper is let it be as it were for Jonathan and David in the name of Jesus Christ all those in ministry here I prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of God 
the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry it's not like you don't love god but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of jesus for the sake of god's hand upon your life i separate you with them forever this night i separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters i cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life by the grace of god i release you to a new order of favor a new order of favor a new order of favor favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ I don't know what personal request you desire from God but I release my faith with you and I declare that by miracle service may you will only return rejoicing over that issue in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here trusting God for a good job not just a job that you look like a slave a job with honor in the name of Jesus I agree with you between now and next miracle service may god bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension everyone in business here the god factor the favor factor the help factor the ebenezer factor i release it upon your business i release it upon your field of endeavor in the name of jesus christ the Bible says, where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you. It says, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. I decree and declare, may your gates be continually open. Now, I want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us. I want to pray that somebody will give you money. Listen. 
hold on listen we are not money mongers this is not some carnal thing there are some of you this is what you need you don't need advice you don't need counseling you just need help straight help i pray for you you will be surprised it will look like a dream i pray for you not a helper not access thank god for it but a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you i stretch my hands and i release it upon you in the name of jesus christ the anointing for miracles help that guy the anointing for signs the anointing for wonders whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of jesus may you carry it in your spirit from today begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders and finally i pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of jesus christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ and for every for every worker here in the name of jesus christ after tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves in the name of jesus christ hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video well, share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to 